Hello guys and welcome to yet another Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition video and we have a match up for our Skaven team as we are now playing Open uh, Ladder it's chosen Raptrix Heroes for our next game uh, team's a bit busted uh, as Skaven do tend to get however um, we're short of quite a few players uh, in this team and we're facing ogres um, we do have one uh, blitzer one storm vermin in the team and the rest are either linemen or gutter runners so yeah we, we've no rat ogre one star burning and one thrower. My intentions with this team is to keep it going for as long as possible and try and get some money and buy some players. Uh, however, doing that with Skaven's easier said than done. So we've got a match versus a hell of a lot of Mighty Blow with this older team. Uh, we are on defence first. We'll just put the skills on for you so you can see what we've got. We have got a block float thrower. We have got a wrestle and um, long legs. Uh, got a runner. We have got a storm vermin. Uh, five points. We have got a block tackle lineman. Uh, a rookie. Uh, got a runner. A blood sidestep. Got a run. Two rookie got a runner. Block sidestep. A guard. Uh, on a niggled uh, lineman and we also have a minus agility on the line there so you see my opponent um, he got himself a plus movement a sure hand and two guard on his ogres so it's not a bad uh, match up for Skaven uh, if you can keep out of the way of the ogres we might do okay so that's my intention uh, try and survive with uh, as many players as possible for the next matchup um, we haven't got that many players that can take down his snotlings um, we do have a block tackle that will be useful we have got a number of block players so we'll, we'll see how the game transpires. It's my opponent's turn from the kickoff event. So sit back, guys, and enjoy and watch the highlights of this matchup. In comes the first block. We survived that. Just a push. And again, we just about get away with that one on a two die <coughs> goes for the pick up takes two to three roll that it's only got the two re-rolls but it does manage to get it on the second attempt his first bone head from one of his ogres and bang in comes the first hit and it's an injury I choose to apple that. I know it's only alignment. Um, it's very early on in the game. It was a minus movement on his stats. Um, I could have, I feel, probably kept that one. And it goes through a GFI, fails that, and injures one of his snotlings. So that's brilliant. He's got two on the bench, uh, one injured. Gives us an opportunity to go in with the block tackle piece. Just a stun. Hope is a lot more there. We are going to go and swamp his players now. Um, apply as much pressure on these guys as possible. <clears throat> with the speed of the rats it's more than doable
We've got to keep a couple of players back. Um, invite him in for uh, as many um, pushes as possible. I was just waiting to see what, what happened there with that. It was just a stun. It's like, in comes the blitz. He's gone on our block tackle piece. Just a push. He's moving his snotlings up now. <clears throat> Manages to dodge away. Going for a hit on his ogre. We re-roll that, uh, down to two re-rolls. But it gives us an opportunity now for the blitz on the ball carrier. It's a three die. Oh, we just can't get the ball. We don't get a result there. <clears throat> we haven't quite freed the ball yet. We're not able to pick it up. So I'm moving Storm Vermin back. Go for a two die on one of his snotlings. You'll have sidestep. He's getting away with a number of blocks at the moment. In comes the tackle on the Storm Vermin. No, 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 and oh, we've used our apple. Ah, it's busted, Storm Vermin, minus movement. Ah, so, it's gone down to six movement. He's going to be out for the next game. So, a little bit hasty with the apple. We lose um, what would be probably our most important player in the team because he's got plus armour uh, he's a blitzer, he's got access to strength and he's GFI'd it uses the reroll passes it on the second and third attempt Again, we go in for a blitz from the gutter runner. <clears throat> Choose to re-roll it again. Not getting any results in respect of powers or both downs. But we do manage to knock down one of his ogres. It allows him to get back with a number of the players. We do require dodge. And we suffer a KO. It's not going well at the moment. Dodge failed uh, twice there. Only needed a two plus. So the only injury that is sustained so far has been for the GFI. We're not managing to get any tackles on his snotlings. In comes his blitz on the lodge sidestep. Choosing not to follow that one up. No re-rolls. So he suffers a turnover there. Doesn't mean I can free um, my guard piece with a dodge. Usually re-roll again. We finally get the ball clear and 
get the KO. Took us six dice to knock this guy down. Well, more than six, we were re rolled. So it's eight die to get a pal, but we finally got it. The ball's free, and it is away from his ogres. So if you can dodge out and pick this up. Oh, no! We're getting some bad dice here, um, but we have managed to free the ball. The opponents had a number of ones as well, but albeit on his GFIs. Get the power on the sidestep, it survives. And another bonehead. In comes my blitz. The three die. And again, no result. So we got not getting the results on these snotlings. This time we do manage to dodge out. Can we get the ball? Yes. We managed to get the ball of Igleton and pick it up, move up the pitch, make the pass. Yes. We had the ball, we've got the ball, we stole it. So now it's the opponent's turn to deal some damage. He has removed a couple of my players. Which <clears throat> means we can get up the pitch. Three turns to score. And we are scaven, so there's not really much going to stop us from getting all the way up there. Um, and we're just leaving some players. We get a blitz. Thrower, can he get a result? Doesn't get a result on the uh, snotling there. Do get another goal with our faculty. No result again. These guys are only armor five. But we're not doing anything to remove them. And we just ah we suffer a KO through one of his olders. We lose the block tackle. So we have one injury plus two KOs. You see his players really struggling to keep up with the speed of the scaling. So I thought it weren't a bad matchup if we could keep some of these players alive.
gotta run it up out of range. The gutter runner. Moving a number of players about now. <clears throat> we are gonna delay it to our last turn. It's for the score. I'm gonna see if we can do something. We we'll try and dodge away. And we suffer another KO. So we'll lose yet another gutter uh, player, which is a gutter runner. Um, so it could have been worse, but, uh, we could have suffered an injury there, but it does give him a free, a few free blocks now on uh, the remaining players. So he's going in on the niggle guard piece, he survives. Go on the thrower. Can he survive? Yes. A couple really timely uh, boneheads for us there. It does the GFIs. To get next to the ball carrier. But he can't throw in the blitz. Passing all his GFIs now. We go for the free die there. Decides to move away. <clears throat> we don't have to dodge out and we just run it in. So we managed to get a 1 0, steal the ball, get a 1 0 lead for the end of the first half. It is our turn now to receive the ball in the second half. Let's see if we get any of our KOs back at half time. So one player comes back. We still do have two of our got to run over out. And as you can see, we've got we've got a fair few players. Uh, there's the two KOs. There's the injured Storm Vermin. Uh, so we still do have two gutter runners, and we still have a couple block tackle in the team. In comes a rock. Oh. Stuns one of our guys. KO's one of his snot wings. In comes the blitz. Still no injury. We do get a pick up a stun. Again the pass. And we move up the pitch. If I got got to run in there. Go for a dodge, I'm not sure, I think that was just a misclick. Because we go in uh, when we didn't need to and then we have to dodge out. He's so passing his GFIs. And again, 
in comes the blitz. We use the sidestep. Block fails, both down. In comes the one by there on his Olga. We used to be uh, a blitz up there on the Skaven. And, uh, two skulls. So we suffer the turnover, we drop the ball. We've got a couple of linemen here at the bottom that are keeping his ogres nice and busy. So that's going to help. He manages to pick up. He gets away with the ball. Passes with GFIs once more. In comes the blitz on his ball carrier. We did need a few dodges. We go for the reroll. <coughs> Again, no result there. We survived the block. I thought I was going to lose my block tackle piece. I really did. I uh, thought, oh no, here we go. It, this time he chooses to re-roll. Uh, gets the knockdown there on the lineman. With the blitz. Moves up to protect the ball carrier. Gets another power over there. We do survive those. Die block on oh, he's used his reroll to so suffer the turnover. Does mean we get stunned. In comes the blitz. Boom. No result. Go for a dodge away from this piece here, which we fail. We did need the reroll to knock down his ball carrier. So again, we're down to zero, zero rerolls. However, we have stopped him from having the ball in his possession. Doesn't mean he's going to have to pick the ball up, and we have to sidestep piece. We we'll move on to the ball, knock the ball away. I should have stood up one of my players there at the end, I do realise, before uh, the end of the turn. Um, I could have based this ogre so he couldn't have run in next to the ball. Goes for the pick up, he gets it and he gets away. Oh. Does mean we can get our, our um, lineman back without any hindrance whatsoever. 
can also get away from a bone-headed ogre. We're getting a number of players. We get the three die block and we get the pal. Choose not to follow up. We get a stun. We get the ball and we get away. A lot to do for the Olga team now. <clears throat> it does need to get the ball back. It did manage to steal it, but we got the ball back. It goes to a GFI with his Olga. He fails another GFI, but passes the reroll. So we're both now on zero rerolls. Again, no result. We're not picking up any injuries at all on these snotlings. Get another stun. Oh, that is an important stun with the ball carrier. We can get away. We can. Oh, we also managed to dodge and move I got a runner up the pitch fails the GFI and is on his ass the important thing here is with the few turns left that is that we have the ball we want to make sure that some of these players do survive the mighty blow punches though. We don't want a big keeping all these players next to these these olders. We want to get them out of harm's way if we can. It tries to blitz with the uh, old career at the bottom, which meant a dodge away with agility too. Both downs enough. Oh, still no injuries. I was expecting us to get at least one or two injuries in this match um, versus these snotlings, but Pierce, that's not going to not going to be the case. We have got another turn after this, but it does mean uh, that we'll be risking. Here comes the blitz does mean that we're going to be risking um, quite a bit in respect of not scoring. Throw of survives the block there. Just moving some players up now. Going in on the ball carrier, gets the pow. So the sidestep piece drops the ball. He's gonna need the piece in scarring range. Can we get the ball? Can we somehow get the ball up to our gutter runner and score? Finally, yes, we get one of them. 
No long term effect. We've got the scarring threat out of the way. And I move my gutter runner out of harm's way. He can get in with the blitz. Couple boneheads there on his final turn. In comes the blitz. Gets the pal. Can we survive? Yes. So a pretty scrappy 1-0, but I'll take it all the same. Um, we'll have a look at the stats. We've got five star play points on one of the linemen. We did have a lot of the ball. Um, we did make a few passes which succeeded. We did manage to get pick up with one injury right at the end. Uh, I was hoping to get a number of scores in that game with having the four gutter runners. We're having the speed, but we just couldn't pick up the injuries that we needed to get the snotlings out of the match and use that to the best of our ability. So, <clears throat> we'll have a look at the star player points. So, we did manage to pick up a few. Not as many as I'd have liked, but we have advanced slightly. So, I'll have a quick look at the team re-rolls. So, this is the, um, the old team here. Uh, dice rolls you see that he's 100% on casualties uh, his bonehead was really good his dodges were really good um, his pickups okay uh, his injuries held up well uh, his armour held up well uh, his GFIs were really good there only 3 failures out of the 20 and 26 uh, passes there with GFIs. I'll have a look at my team. I'm a 45%. So you expect against all that mighty blow. Uh, injuries again. Um, not great. Uh, casualties. You see the GFIs. Uh, one failure there uh, towards the end that sort of really cost. Uh, I was getting the second score, I feel, um, but we did pretty well otherwise. Dodges, not bad, but there was some failures there from the agility force. Um, Pickup's good, so overall that's not too shabby. We'll have a look at the type of dice for the block dice. There you can see 13 powers. Um, it pretty good spread all round. Have a look at my opponents. Again, a really good spread. A hell of a lot more blocks as you'd have expected there uh, with his uh, with his ogres on majority of the linemen. Um, so overall, a good win. However, we did lose the Storm Vermin. So it's moved our stats to 9, 1 and 4 now for this busted Skaven team. We're going to keep it going. We've got 70k in the bank. Uh, so I, I could get myself another Lime Rat. And I could get myself a Thrower as well. Um, but I'm going to save the money up and get myself a storm vermin we're gonna roll with the movement busted storm storm vermin for now until when we get him back after the next game and so we can afford to get ourselves a fresh one so we'll keep him inside for now we'll hopefully get through the next match for these guys without having to get too many players I'll replace any of the gutter runners and uh, get ourselves, if we can, a storm vermin and maybe one other player. We'll just have to see how we go in the next game. So we managed to pick up a win. Um, 
the team is looking very bust i have to say it. but i mean we've got almost a level up there on our gutter runner who is a blodge sidestep um we can get the um leap next on our ratatouille there so that's what we're going to try and do on him get a, a long legs leap uh wrestle player and then hopefully advance him get him strip ball those kind of skills and tackle um we've got a couple rookies and hopefully we can heap hold of a few of these line rats although i'm not gonna hold my breath too much there so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and take care and bye for now